Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Guys, this one, we're in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. It just released a couple days ago, guys. And this one, I'm going to show you how to relight dark footage. If you guys are out and you're filming and your footage is darker than you'd like and you didn't have your lighting the way you want it and you want to brighten it up or lighten it up, I got you covered. Here we go, guys. We're going to do this in like three minutes. It's going to be amazing. All right, guys, the first step here is you'll see I've got some video footage I've pre-selected. I downloaded it from Pexels Video because they have free footage because I just want to show you the technique. So what you guys can, if you're following along, just load up any old footage and drag and drop it in. Next step, drop it into your timeline. Boom, we're in business. Now, when you look at this here, I'm just going to make it a little bigger. When I hit play, you're going to notice that this is, yeah, this is a little bit dark. It's not perfect, right? It's darker than you'd probably like. It's not lit perfectly, unless it's like the 19th century and you're uh, <laughs> in Victorian England and you're doing a Jack the Ripper video, but whatever, you're not. So here we go. The way to relight this and brighten it is very, very simple, but not a lot of people know this trick. What you want to do is you want to go to your effects. For me, I'm in effects up here at the top, and then effects is over here on the right side for me. If you don't see this, if your workspace is different, you can always go to Window, drop it down, and then make sure that Effects is selected and there's a check mark beside it. Next, go to Effects and just type in Light. Actually, and when I type that in, you're going to see that it loads up Lighting Effects. And if you didn't see this, you go to Video Effects, you go to Adjust, and then you go to Lighting Effects. Drag and drop this onto your video or your sequence. And boom, you get this weird looking light. And this is not what you're going for. Don't panic, I got you. The next step, guys, is you want to go over here to your effect controls, wherever those might be. If they're not open for you, you can just go down here to window and make sure there's a check mark beside effect controls. They are up on the top left for me. So I'm going to go click on lighting effects, and you're going to see this little blue outline here, which is not what we want. And then what, and this is the key step, is you want to click on light one, click the little chevron, or the triangle, whatever you want to call it, the angle bracket, and then select light type. But from light type, go switch from spotlight to directional. And when you do that, presto, we've got brand new lighting. This is synthetic lighting, and it works great. I'm going to turn the lighting effect off. This is the original. This is the new lighting. Now, this could be all you need to do. Again, we can go a little further down the rabbit hole, but this is the pivotal step. Switch light type to directional. Now, you're going to notice here that it comes in at an intensity of 30 degrees. This can be upped or decreased or increased, depending on what you're looking for. And if you're a forensic video editor, uh, you can jack this all the way up to like 100, and you can maybe see things in a video that you would never be able to see without doing that. So anyways, I'm going to go, let's take this up to about 40 or 50. Let's go to 50 just for the effect. So again, now this is completely differently lit. I'll hit space bar and you'll see that, you know, it's a hell of a lot brighter and you see a lot more stuff. It's not perfect, right? But it's pretty damn good. And this is probably all you need to do. There are a few more little things here I will show you that can have an effect. One of them, of course, is the light color. If you are a in doing some color correction, or you're doing like an you know a nighttime scene or a horror movie, for example, and you want the light to have like a bluish tinge to it for the video, you can just click on the color of the light, head over to blue, and then let's take a let's take like a darker blue maybe, and let's just see what that looks like. Boom! You've got a brand new blue tinge to your light. So. Again, there's so many different things here. You guys can season this to your taste. Let's try that one. Okay, that's got a nice bluish tinge. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on, guys. This is how you do it. Also, if you just want to light a section of your uh, scene, so let's say um, maybe just uh, you just want to maybe a, a square, like a component. You can, let's say you wanted to do like the bottom half and then the top half. Maybe not so much. So I would do something like this, right? So you could do this if you really wanted to. Um, let's see here. Something like that, right? So I'm going to got the bottom half kind of lit. And then the top half 
is not lit. And I'm just going to back this up a bit to like 50% and then click off and let's see what happens. Right, so you can see here how much of a difference it makes, right? So again, I wouldn't do this for like a regular shot, but I just want to show you the difference between the lighting. So um, masking and, and relighting components of a scene or components of a video or, or of a couple shots is another thing you can do. Guys, that's really all there is to it for relighting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to switch the lighting back to white. And I'm going to get rid of the mask. I'll feather the mask, sure, and then I'll get rid of it. What do you think? Yeah, oh yeah, you know what? That's a pretty cool look, right? It covers, actually, that's actually something I should show you. That's a good point. Um, I, I jacked the feathering up huge on this thing. And then you'll see here that like I kind of relit the bottom half, but I left the, tar the top half dark. You can do this and you can do vice versa if you want the sky to be brighter, but you want like the street, for example, or whatever's on the ground to be darker. Again, guys, you can do this as you see fit, but these are the techniques, guys, to relight footage using just Premiere Pro and no external lights. Hope you liked this tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.